you are on the cutting edge of technology you use a uh, live access uh, to do uh, pretty much what a lot of people don't understand when it comes to broadcasting you've created a platform where people can use live access uh, to broadcast things live and you've taken this uh, uh, literally to a whole new level uh, tell us more it's uh, predominantly a live broadcast uh, technology company uh, that uses various tools uh, that are already available in the market to assist uh, video service integration companies, mainly broadcasters, uh, non-profits, and uh, media companies uh, that are in the live uh, industry. Uh, that is pretty much what we do. Uh, how did you get started? I identified a lack uh, generally in Africa. You know, uh, before I established this company, I used to work for a broadcasting company. Uh, in Zimbabwe and um, one of the biggest challenges we had was uh, to be able to receive or access live news uh, uh, immediately and uh, because of that you know I noticed that it's not just an issue that we had uh, ourselves in my own local community uh, it's an issue that a lot of broadcasters and media companies um, were facing in general in Africa uh, and because of that, you know, I think if you look across, I think even online or just general, there are not a lot of live broadcast service providers uh, in Africa. So that is a gap that I felt a need to fill. Would I be correct to say that uh, you are trying to give a uh, live view and all the other live access networks uh, a run for their money? Yes, definitely, especially here in Africa. <laughs> but I mean, live view is a, it is a, a tool that we use, obviously. I mean, we are learning from industry leaders. We do partner with industry leaders. But at some point, I mean, they say, obviously, you can't be better than your master. But I mean, at some point, um, yes, we are hoping to be able to uh, take the industry by, uh, by storm and uh, dominate the market. How many... Uh people do you have on staff? We've got 15 uh, permanent employees, uh, which are fixed staff, and uh, we've got a growing number of freelancers, uh, 35, which compri uh, comprises of uh, engineers and uh, live video solution uh, architects uh, that help us assist. Um, I mean, the way our company is set up, really, um, it's evolving to becoming a uh, an online company which is able to service different companies across Africa. Uh, so because of that, it allows us to be able to uh, employ a variety of people from different countries. I've been in studios where uh, they do uh, live events, live uh, shows. There's so much involved in terms of uh, uh, like how many people are involved, the technology itself, uh, it's very uh, intricate from your vantage point what is it that uh, you do differently just in general you know before there was even something called uh, live streaming you know it was just called live video live broadcast you know it was always perceived as something very technical as a, as a live streaming and live broadcast company uh, one of the key things that make us different is that we are able to uh, use uh, mobile phones to send feed from one point to another uh, specifically you can i mean pretty much what we're doing right now um, i'm able to send um, a live video feed using a phone uh, to a studio such as voa and voa is able to do that at the lowest cost possible without having to uh, have a satellite uh, station and uh, from, from every point that you want to access uh, news or content um, I think one of the other key things that also make us very different about live access is we are trying our best to partner with a lot of uh, programmers uh, in the live video space, especially in Africa, uh, to create open source codes and open source applications uh, that specifically African media organizations and broadcasters are able to use without having to pay thousands um, of dollars to, to access this. The most important thing for us as live access is uh, uh, the importance of the tool itself and the impact it's making uh, here in Africa, especially for broadcasters. Uh, I think it's worth noting that, you know, we have been part of uh, organizations that were never able to access uh, news from different parts of their countries. And uh, we are a key major player or rather a key major enabler. Uh, that enables stations and broadcasters to be able to access news and content. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, th uh, thank you very much for this opportunity.